Are you, is your bucket of goodies? Lee Bryant is one of a group of owners who bought Flying Rooster Farm from bankruptcy court in 2000. The land had been left barren by strip mining and logging, and he wanted to change that. We wanted to have, uh, number one, wildlife habitat. Uh, most of the people that are involved in the property are outdoorsmen. We wanted a safe place to bring our children to have picnics and campouts. We also later on wanted to figure out how to partner with Forestry at UK through the University of the Cumberlands, through Union College, and figure out how we could, could share some of the experiences and use this as almost an experimental site. Over the years, through planting trees and improving habitat for wildlife, Brian has transformed the land to make it suitable for a variety of wildlife and a birding destination, thanks to help from the Kentucky Division of Forestry and Fish and Wildlife. We're trying to provide a little of everything, food, cover, uh, it's all going in there. Um, you know, the trees in about three, four years will be, you know, standing at high and that would be great cover for something like a quail uh, or a turkey that's nesting with baby poults. Um, so it's, it, it provides a little everything. Whitley County High School FFA students came to the Flying Rooster Farm to learn more about the changes that have been made and hear from state and University of Kentucky forestry professionals. These are our next generation of voters when making decisions about our natural resources, um, making decisions about how we care for those natural resources. So the more they understand about our resources and how to care for them and wisely utilize them, the better off we'll be. And open the bags and put. In the afternoon, the high school students went out in groups with forestry professionals who showed them how to plant these tree seedlings. In all, over 1,600 tree seedlings of different varieties went in the ground. The students were excited about what they accomplished. Us having the opportunity to come out here, especially for those of us who are in the environmental science classes, I think it's pretty cool for us to actually be able to put that, to, like, put that in action, being able to see what we've learned for however long we've been in these classes and actually do it. Being able to do something that not only affects, you know, you get to see it as they're growing through the many years, but in long-term generations, being able to show your kids, maybe even their grands, their grandkids, like, you know, we, I went and done this as a high school student, yeah. you know, I went and changed this land. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting.